Hello everyone. Just when you think Tottenham can't ruin your weekend because there's no match. No match, no problem. But then they decide to let us all know that Destiny Udogi is now out for the rest of the season. Now, like I've said many times, I try to be the voice of reason um, and try to look at things in a positive light and so on and so forth. But I have to say, I do think this is a massive hit for us. And I know that Udogi's not been playing his best football of late and he's come under a little bit of criticism. But ultimately, he has been um, a real um, revelation this season, certainly at the beginning of the season where he was first sort of a dozen games or so, you know, young lad coming in, first time in the Premier League. He really did shine and, and, and did show um, why um, the club invested in him. But for him to now be out for the rest of the season at a time when we're now going into probably the most difficult matches with the most to play for, oh, it's a real big blow. It's a real big blow. Now, I've always been an advocate of Ben Davis. Um, I always felt it was unfair that he was lumped in with um, some of the other players that, that everyone was calling to be gone, you know, your Dyers and, and players like that. And... Uh, and I, I, I felt it was a little bit unfair on him um, to get put in that way because he's always been really professional and worked really hard. He's a good leader and so on. And, and whatever he's asked of him, he just gets on with it. He never complains, just carries on. Um, but is he of the quality that you need in that in that role? Probably not. He's 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 kind of a, a backup player now. Um, and he... Uh, I'd be okay with him coming in for the Burnley game, um, for the Sheffield United game, but Arsenal, Chelsea, Man City, you know, those are the games that you think to yourself, Liverpool as well, obviously. Those are the games you really want your, your best players in there. And so the only other option is Emerson Royal. Um, who, if I'm being honest I've, I've never whilst I've seen improvement in him I've, I've, I'm never filled with confidence with him in there because he is a um, stray pass or a you know, lack of concentration away from disaster in my view and the other thing is he generally plays as the as a right back not as the not as the left back and we don't even know what's happening with with Pedro Porro because I think he had a knock and so on so it's a really difficult time, isn't it? It looks like Aston Villa are not going to fall away. They've they've obviously um, consolidated that spot in in top in top four. Um, and fair play to them. I think they've 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 done enough, and they probably deserve to be there. For us, we've been you know we, what's really cost us is you know big loss to to Newcastle. Um, that's really affected us. Really poor performance there, and and a big 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 loss. But obviously, it's the other games where you, you know you you expect to to get something and you don't get something, and and that really just that really just kills it. I mean, the Fulham game is the one that kind of springs to mind. Losing three 0 there, that's again hits your goal difference, hits your points tally, and it's a game you would like to think that we we should have really turned up for and didn't. So. Bit of a downbeat kind of feeling at the moment for for the for today. You know, coming up against obviously we've got Arsenal at the weekend, and they're flying absolutely flying, banging goals in for fun. And when your when your defensive unit is is depleted, um, even by losing one one um, uh, full back, potentially having two out and going with your understudies for that. It's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a worry. I don't know about Dragusin whether he can come in whether Van der Ven can move to the left whether that works. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. It's a big it's a big problem for for Ange and we have been plagued with injuries all this season, and that's um that's been the the tale of it. But I think even even the the most um kind of um. It's the word I'm looking for. Um, glass half full type supporter like myself will will start to see that actually the um, 
the impact and the problems haven't been when we've had all the players out. It's We've had the players in and just not turned up for the right result. And I know there's there's a lot of, a lot of fans saying, you know, we haven't seen any progression this year. We're not looking any better than we were and so on. I think that might be a bit harsh, personal view. Uh, I, I do feel like we are going in a better direction than we were going before. I don't think the um, the club are ever going to buy ready-made players in the, in the kind of way that Chelsea did and, and Man City did and your PSGs and even going back to Real Madrid's. And even Man United, to be fair, you know, Man United, when they had all that success, everyone talks about how great Fergie was. But to be fair, he always just bought the best players. He was spending more money than anybody else back then. And that's that, that's just the way it is. Um, so it's always it's always kind of been like that. So I don't think we're ever going to be that sort of club. So we do have to buy talent and hope that they, they work. But I think getting a a depth of squad that can come into the standard that you want from your first team has got to be the first the first port of call and, I, and hopefully we are going to start doing that. Hopefully Angie's going to get some kind of backing, whether it's the backing that we want or what, we won't know. But as long as it's the backing that he wants, then hopefully we can start going in the right direction. But make no but mo mistake about it, the, the, the next half dozen games are going to be some of the toughest that we've, we've come across and it's going to be a difficult running. Hopefully, we can do enough to maintain at least that fifth spot because potentially we could fall even further than that. You know, it's not too far away. Newcastle, Man United, not too far away. Um, and I'm trying not to be too negative because I don't, you know, I, I always love my club and, and, and want the best for them. I'll always call them out that they're going to they're gonna do what they need to do. But it's a competitive, tough league and every team in the Premier League deserves to be there. And every team will give you a game and on their day, any team can beat any team. So you never know, maybe being the underdogs with all the injuries and that, maybe we will get something at Arsenal, maybe we will get something at Chelsea, maybe we will get something from Liverpool, maybe we will get something from Man City. You never know. Let's, uh, let's just hope so. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Short and sweet, up the Spurs.